Hi everyone, welcome back to the podcast. Yes, yesterday the video ended abruptly because uh, Anand needed the studio. So me and Kesav got kicked out. So thankfully Anand's in Tiranamalai doing an event. So we had the entire studio to ourselves for the entire day. So we can hammer out all our podcasts and videos which we wanted to do for Pongal because Kesav is going to go for Pongal holidays and I also have Pongal holidays. So we didn't want you guys to miss out. I know most of you will also be doing Pongal celebrations and may not catch the podcast. For those of you who are not doing anything for Pongal, who are, who are unable to travel, who are stuck in Chennai or wherever you are and uh, want to feel part of the family, welcome to the family, welcome to our tribe. We're here for you, even if you have nowhere to go for Pongal, you can be with us here right now. That said, Gesev, Habit Loop, anything further you want to add to it? Uh, no, sir. Uh, today, uh, according to this only, we are talking something out of the book, sir. Okay. Uh, like how how habits are uh, m- messing with our lives, sir. Like that. Mm. Little. Because we how are... How we not, form uh, habits unconsciously. Uh, unconsciously. Sir. Without thinking. Ah, yes, sir. So, like, why don't you talk about your story which you brought, about the person who was working. Yes, sir. In our office... And how place of vocation started imprint on her personality. Yes, sir. In our office, uh, one of our editors, family member, who mm. is working as a teacher in a Christian school. Mm. Uh, before that, uh, uh, in the early stages of working, she is like normal. She talks normal and all. Now, she... Uh, anything he said... She will add one thing called bless you. Mm. Without unconsciously, she is adding bless you, like bless, uh, glory to God. Mm. Like that she is adding unconsciously. She is not even knowing what she is doing. Mm. Because she confuses her work with her daily activities. Sir. So both got into... Well, that, I would say that kind of a habit forms mm. because of uh, constant exposure to a certain form of thinking. Okay. There is nothing wrong with what's the lady is doing. First, ah. Let's get that clear. Ah. If she wants to say bless you. No, as long as she is happy with doing what she is doing. Mm. So let's leave the religion out of this. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay, a lot of people think we are trying to get religious about it. We are ah. not. This is habitual forming. Even case of, for example, mm. 100 episodes back, mm. 150 episodes back, you go see some earlier videos of case in the beginning of last year. His personality was very different. He was very shy, very timid. And uh, he didn't exhibit any form of confidence and he didn't have a habit of reading anything. He didn't have a habit of taking notes of anything. But me constantly working with him and inculcating these kind of habits into him, now it becomes second nature to him. Oh. For example, even now, it's full of notes. And the boy's not only taken notes, he's read. He's tried to understand the best he could and read further about it. And then he's taken notes and he's discussed it with the other people in the team. And he's now creating content. For the first time since he's been with me, now Kesav is actually a content creator. Content creator, as I say, he's just not an anchor. He's able to think of an idea for a video. Like today, all the videos actually for the past, I would say 20, 30 videos have all been his motivation. I let him think of an idea. He does the research. He puts it together. So this is how habit forms. Okay. Right. So this kind of impression happens. Hmm. And the way you use your language, you're using English, the words you're using, yes, sir. you get influenced by me. Correct. So, you start emulating. Hmm. That happens when you start respecting someone. So, that person whom you're talking about, hmm. in the place she's working, hmm. she must be really having a great time. Okay, okay. in the place where she's working. Hmm. There must be a few teachers or, you know, teacher bosses who hmm. are there whatever they call them in their organization, she must be looking up to them. Okay. Who she feels and respects a lot. Mm-hmm. So then what you do is you try and emulate those behavior mm. patterns. Correct. So this happens in a negative way, like okay. what you saw in Germany happening with Hitler. The guy was a very well-spoken man. Ah. And he was people just loved the way he spoke. He was spoke, speaking in German, which we, you and me don't understand. Mm-hmm. But for the German people, mm. he was... Very good. Mm -hmm. He was very influential in the way he spoke. He moved the crowds. Correct. So people started doing whatever he said. Mm. They used to cheer him, cheer him because they couldn't get enough of him. Mm -hmm. The same thing was true with Swami Vivekananda in India. Anand spoke about it in a video, which is a great, exact opposite of Hitler. Ah. Okay, he has a great influence on our youth. Mm -hmm. You know, that famous saying, rise, awake, don't stop till you achieve your goal. That famous quote of his was Mm. that. Mm. And he would come and he would speak hmm. and he would inspire the youth. Hmm. This is the same, same true with Nehru. Great orators, ah. they're called. Even Obama, for example, is a great orator. Vajpayee okay. was a great orator. Hmm. They'll come and without any script or anything, they'll just talk. 
that, so eloquently, so movingly, that people feel moved. And then what happens is you see that and you try to capture that kind of a spirit within yourself. You hmm. want to be like them. Hmm. So you start picking up habits of theirs. Okay. You know, walking the way they walk, hmm. wearing the jacket they walk, like Nehru jacket, uh -huh. which became famous. You know, some famous leader will wear one cap, like MGR's cap. No, oh, correct, sir. So they'll become famous. They will be boiling hot in Chennai. Okay, it's 45 degrees outside. Hmm. People are wearing their topi and, you know, cooking their heads and walking around because they want to emulate it. That habit formation happens. Hmm. That's why there's a big push, blowback on, uh, like Rajin Khan, on cigarette. Correct, sir. Him, he just, when you initial roles he played, he was playing a villain. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's not in a habit he himself, it's not something he created himself. Mm -hmm. He saw another actor doing it, mm -hmm. he thought it's a cool thing to do. Mm -hmm. He learned to do it. Correct. Of course, he made it popular mm -hmm. to his yes, generation. Sir. Yes, sir. True. Right. Shivaji Ganeshan did most of the way Rajin Khan walks. Mm -hmm. If you see Shivaji Ganeshan videos before Rajni Khan's, hmm. Shivaji Ganeshan would walk like that. Hmm, hmm, hmm. That, you know, the nonchalant way of walking, ah, ah, shrugging ah. the shoulders, swinging ah. the hips and walking. That Shivaji Ganeshan, if you go see Hollywood actors, ah. they were doing it. Okay. So, all of us look at someone ah. and we try to say, okay, we those habits inspired. look nice. Ah. We get inspired and we try to absorb those habits. Mm -hmm. We will try to project that by ourselves. So. Yes, we want to be like that. So, you want those habits. Understood, sir. So, right. So, hmm. this is there and the, you got to realize something. There is no truly anything which is good or bad. Correct, sir. You right. told me so many times. Yes. Oh. So, basic rule which you should try and keep is like what Buddha said, as long as you're not hurting anybody hmm. or causing any trouble for anybody, okay, you're free to do what you wish. You're not hurting yourself, hmm. you're not hurting, not hurting anybody, anybody and you're not hmm. causing any harm to society. Okay. You're allowed to do what you want. So, in that context, hmm. most things are not considered bad unless you don't break these mm -hmm. elements. Mm -hmm. 